In a place where many believe to be the very center of America's gridiron culture is a football league hidden from the big city sports writers and the cameras of the major television networks. Tucked away in a number of small, nondescript towns, such as Raymond, Wesson, Ellisville, Fulton, Poplarville, and Scuba, these Mayberry-type communities remain out of the spotlight of the national sports media. What started as a network of agricultural high schools scattered across Mississippi over a hundred years ago became the nation's first two-year colleges. Today, the Mississippi Junior College system, called JUCOs, consists of 15 schools, 14 of which field football teams. Each of these communities and institutions have developed its own distinct identity and colorful gridiron legacy. Over the many decades since the establishment of the Mississippi JUCOs, an astonishing number of players have gone on to dazzle fans at major colleges and professional stadiums across the United States. All of Mississippi's football-playing JUCOs compete in a self-contained conference made up of only Mississippi teams. It's simply referred to as the League. The League is complex because it is viewed by many as one of the extremes, sometimes described by its critics as an athletic underworld wrapped in violence and brutality, then often praised by its supporters as a football nirvana. Many of the players in the league refer to it as the last chance league. For those players coming out of high school who are considered by college recruiters to be undersized or too slow or who are handicapped by academic or social problems, the league provides them with a chance to prove their critics' evaluation wrong.